Before we begin, I just want to acknowledge that Representative Thorpe was studying and actively involved in the Article 5 movement before, long before it was cool. So we look to him as one of our, our experts on the topic, and I want to thank you for your diligence and, and steadfastness with this issue. Thank you. Uh, the other person I would like to recognize, too, who never really did get his, uh, his due is uh, this gentleman right here, who his photo hangs on my wall in my office. When you come to see me, you will see him behind me. This is George Mason. And George Mason was a brilliant man who, uh, at his own peril, actually George Washington wrote uh, later that George Mason was his former friend. And, uh, <laughs> and, and there's a long story behind that. But um, he, he had the courage to stand up and say that something else needs to happen when it comes to amending the Constitution. They had discussed how that was going to happen and it was going to go through Congress, but George Mason actually had the wisdom and the foresight to see there was going to come a day when the federal government, when Congress itself was going to be coming, was going to become out of control and they themselves would not pass an amendment to bring control of themselves. And so that it was his wisdom that said that he put forth we need to provide an alternative way for the Congress to be held accountable and that alternative way is what I call part B of article 5 and that is when states when 34 states petition Congress for an article 5 convention that they can come together and convene and propose their amendments to the Constitution and today when you vote you're going to be making a vote based on one of two things. The courage of the founders. Will we join George Mason in stepping forward in faith? Stepping forward in this is a constitutional provision that was given to us that we have never taken the opportunity to use. Are we going to have the faith and the courage of the founders or are we going to stand in fear and turn our backs on what was provided for us? when it comes time to address the problems of this country. We went to the Convention of States simulated convention last year where we went through this whole process. And the best part about being there as a member of that simulated convention was that I was surrounded by brilliance. Our fellow legislators from around the country were so intelligent and so thoughtful and so careful I do believe in you. I believe that we are up to bat. The founders were men. They are in graves right now. We are up to bat. I believe in you. I believe in my fellow Republicans. And I also believe in my fellow Democrats. I do. I think together we can do this. We are intelligent enough. We are committed enough. And I think we're brave enough. And with that, I ask you to support this bill. Thank you. Thank you. I just met like the kindest, most welcoming people who have made me feel empowered.